Episode number eight is still season one. We have been introduced to the Kame. What is it? Kame. It's supposed to be communism. Is that what it's representing? Kamehame something. We have been introduced to it. It's a big deal. It's at the earliest stages, so he's, he took out a little car in the last one, I think. But the pervert hermit guy took out a whole mountain. Where are we still in this mushroom desert place? Wasn't that where we were before? This looks more like a mushroom forest, though. They've got their hover car. One more. One more. Their hover car takes gas. It's not electric. <laughs> did we see... I don't think... Oh no, we saw a little bit of them, right? Or did we? Of the antagonist people that peel off and whoever? The rabbit's boss's special technique. More techniques, oh boy. Oh, this is like a whole city. Good question. A gas station? We haven't seen this much of a civilization yet in the show, right? What is that about? There's a lot of extra world stuff that's memorable, like these capsules. Having to go buy some capsules with super technology in them. And the fact that we've built up to a more civilized area over the course of eight episodes now. Is it because of the rabbit ears and the tail? Is that a... That would be amazing if that was the reason. That'd be a lot of looking, you know, looking ahead. Oh my gosh! <laughs> sort of like the gangsters of the area. It's <laughs> a nice, nice outfit. It's like clouds pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was unnecessary. If they're red delicious, though, I kind of understand. Gotta go with a gala or a pink lady. Fuji, even. Does he have a pipe? <laughs> it's not particularly menacing. Oh, jeez! It sure is. I just... It feels like there's this little boy mythology about, you know, the single attractive girl that they noticed once. And this whole world is built around it. Whoa. I feel like that's an overreaction there, buddy. <laughs> he finishes the burger. <laughs> K O. Good job, Goku. It's economical. He didn't have to do too much. He got that W. I can't tell you how much I love that they were able to escalate the size of the development that you run into. Like it creates a clear momentum, you know, that you can watch. And I don't know what's going to happen after this, but it's still it's just nice to be here. I really, it would be great to have a, I don't know if there is such a thing, but if they made an RPG on, on based on this, it could be really good. But whatever the case, it's still, it's got nice, balanced world building. That is a gangster mobile. Oh my gosh. It's like the bunny, wasn't there a rabbit, like a samurai rabbit that was friends with PandaCon way back in the... Ninja Turtle action figure days. <laughs> oh, they're underestimating him. Whoa! She has got a mouth on her. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Ah! She turned into a carrot! 
<laughs> what on earth? Good job, Oolong. He could have Kamehame whatever too. <laughs> After everything, Oolong. After everything. I did not expect that. Wow. So that was Dragon Ball. Is that episode 8? See you on the next one. No, it's episode 9. We're on 9. Alright, so we're on 10. We just did 9. <laughs>